This museum was the site of a food cannery dating back to 1905. In 1984, it was donated to Hartford Heritage Incorporated, a nonprofit educational corporation. Kissel is the second longest lived auto manufacturer in Wisconsin. They were involved in the production of automobiles and trucks from 1906 until 1931. The facility then was used as an outboard marine engine plant for Kissel Industries to supply boat motors for the Sears and Roebuck Company until it was bought out in 1942 by West Bend Aluminum Company. Subsequently, the Chrysler Corporation, Brunswick American Division of Bayliner Boats, and presently Steelcraft Corporation used the site. When Kissel family members Lewis, Otto, William, and George, along with Judge H.K. Butterfield, entered the automaking business, their first production vehicle was the Kissel car, with car spelled K-A-R for their German heritage. They sold a hundred of these known as the Model C to a Chicago agency. This first line featured four-cylinder engines, and three years later, six-cylinder engines were added. By this time, trucks were also being built. In 1909, the streamlined semi-racer was introduced, and in 1914, they patented a convertible model with a soft top. It was known as a summer car, and that winter, their new invention of a removable hardtop was added. Many other companies were quick to copy this new design. By 1918, the second year of the United States' involvement in the First World War, Kissel engaged in production of trucks as ammunition carriers for the Army. This became the last year the Kissel car moniker was used because of anti-German sentiment. The radiator medallion, Kissel car, every inch a car, was changed, showing Mercury, the Greek mythological god. It was in 1918 that Kissel started producing speedsters. These progressive models were very sleek in design. Painted the color of Kissel chrome yellow, they were quickly nicknamed the Gold Bug. These were popular at the time with many Hollywood celebrities, including Fatty Arbuckle and Amelia Earhart. In 1916, they discontinued making the four-cylinder model, and beginning in 1918, Kissel began using the term custom-built for its larger models. By this time, the Kissel car was known in the trade as a custom-built car as it was manufactured and not an assembled car. The company claimed that 90% of the car was made and produced at their factory right here in Hartford. The Kissel auto body was a largely hand-produced one with rare precision and beauty. Because of this, the Kissel car is one of 45 American cars listed in the rosters of the Classic Car Club of America as a true classic. Kissel produced its first eight-cylinder engine in 1925. They also began to make hearse ambulances and teamed with a large national casket-making company to supply them. In 1928, they joined hands with the Bradfield Company to make taxicabs. This production went into major cities such as Chicago, New York, and some to Milwaukee as late as 1931. In 1928, Kissel changed the name of their vehicles in an attempt to gain the attention of the buying public to Kissel White Eagle, and in the years to follow, it simply went by White Eagle. As the war years went on, Kissel gained prosperity, but then came the Depression. Kissel was badly hurt by the stock crash of 1929, and the Kissel Motor Car Company went into voluntary receivership in 1930. The following year, Kissel tried to stay afloat by going into business with New Era Motor Incorporated and helped produce a front-wheel drive vehicle called Ruxton, but this was short-lived. Out of the 35,000 estimated vehicles produced in the 25 years of the life of the company, less than 200 remain in the world today. This museum has the largest collection with upwards of 25 vehicles at any one time.